Hello, this is Jessica Burrell, and Mr. Becker asked me to show you how to create a classroom website using Google Sites, and I decided to make a screen recorded video of me showing you how to do that so I can narrate and demonstrate at the same time. So I've logged into Lexington2.org and I clicked on the Sites tab. And this will be the screen that will come up. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new site. So I'm going to show you a few things how to, on how to create a new site and then a before and after kind of image. Okay, so click on the Create a New Site button and this will be the page that will pop up. Up here we have templates to choose from. We can name our site. We can choose a theme and then there are more options at the bottom and that's what we're going to click on first because we need to make sure that our site is viewable to everyone. So we're going to make the site public. This allows your students and your students' parents to see the site when they're at home. So make sure you make the site public and then we can add tag words in under site categories to help the students find the site if they're searching on Google. Um, so we can add tag words like your last name, Congaree, we could say Lexington 2 um, Elementary School, any kind of tag word that you'd like to um, these help your site pop up uh, under search engines. And then a site description which is just like a little tagline about your site. So I could say come visit Miss Burrell's um, classroom webpage. Okay. Alright, let me tell you about themes for just a second. If you click on the choose a theme button, you have a plethora of different colors and designs to choose from. However, if you choose a theme and you don't choose a template, you're going to have to build your site from the ground up, meaning there won't be any um, text boxes to use or navigation links up at the top like our school website has. You'll have to do it all from scratch. So I feel like it will probably be easier for you to choose a pre-made site so we'll try that first and if the pre-made site seems more complicated I can show you how to use a choose a theme and get started that way but we'll do um, a template first so name your site I'll, um, I'll just name this test one and then we're gonna browse the gallery for more templates and I went ahead and I chose a template for us to save us time but there are many many different categories and templates to choose from you can go under school and education and they have some um, classroom websites made that are super cute but the one that I chose to make um, Mr. Becker's web page was under clubs and organizations and it's the neighborhood um, site template and so I'm gonna choose this one because I've already used it in the past and I know how to use it well now so we're going to preview the template just to let you guys see what that does. It pops up a new um, tab at the top of your page and you can look over the template to see if it's one that you'd like. The reason that I chose this one is it's basic. It has the name of the site at the top, a big picture and text. Um, it just has one navigation bar on the side it doesn't have tons of links all over the page and then these things down at the bottom I just deleted when I made Mr. Becker's site so I don't have to worry about um, keeping up with all these different it's almost like having lots of little blogs that you have to keep up with and I didn't want him to have to do that so I just took all that off and I'll show you that in a minute so um, that's the template I chose and you can delete and add anything that you'd like to your template. Um, the reason I like using templates is because these links over here are pre-made so they are I can rename them but I'll already have links to um, six different pages that I don't have to make from scratch which is very nice. So I'm going to select this template. I have my site name, my template chosen. I don't need to look at themes 
and I made sure that everyone can see it. So great, I'm gonna create a site.